Here are all display settings available on Samsung Galaxy A36 5G. So first let's go to the phone settings and then we want to go to display. Over here at the top we can choose light and dark theme so you can choose or switch to the dark mode if you prefer it that way. We also have dark mode settings where we can turn on dark mode as scheduled, we can create a custom schedule or we can choose sunset to sunrise which is based on the location. We also have brightness settings where we can adjust the screen brightness and use automatic screen brightness as well, it is called adaptive brightness. Then we also have motion smoothness where we can switch between 120Hz or 60Hz of screen refresh rate. And after that we also have the eye comfort shield which turns the screen orange or yellow. Uh, which is also known as the blue light filter. So if you turn it on, the screen is orange or um, more like yellow. Of course, you can adjust the color temperature as well. And it is used, for example, for reading at night. Then we also have screen mode where we can adjust colors of our screen. We can make them more vivid or natural. And in the case of vivid, we also have white balance where we can make the colors look more cool or more warm. We can also go to advanced settings in order to adjust for even further. Then we also have the font size and font style. We can change our font over here. We can make the fold thicker, if the font thicker if you want to and if it's supported because unfortunately not every font supports this option. And then at the bottom we have the font size where we can change the size of the font on our phone. Then we also have screen zoom where we can make our screen, screen bigger or smaller by moving left or right or by tapping on these dots on the slider. We have camera cutout which can be shown or hidden for specific apps. So here for example you can choose camera in order to show or hide the camera cutout. We have screen timeout which is the time after which the screen will turn off if the screen was um, inactive. So if you didn't use your phone at all. We have easy mode which turns everything bigger. Uh, which is um, for those that find it convenient. And then we also have edge panels, which is like an additional panel where we have quick access to different tools, for example, apps or contacts. There is also navigation bar settings where we can switch between buttons and swipe gestures. If you use buttons, then you can change the order of buttons over here. And if you use gestures, then in more options, you should be able to find the gesture sensitivity where we can select the sensitivity of gestures as the name suggests. Then we also have assistant app where we can use this gesture over here so you can drag your finger from one of the bottom corners towards the middle in order to open the digital assistant that is Gemini, Google Assistant or, um, or Bixby. And we also have circle to search which can be enabled and disabled over here. You need to simply press and hold the home button or the navigation handle at the bottom of the screen in order to activate it. We have additional settings here like accidental touch protection, uh, we can increase the touch sensitivity which is useful when you use screen protectors and the touch is not really detectable by the screen or it works worse. And we also have charging information which can be shown or hidden which is the battery level and estimated time until full when always on display is off or not shown. And then we also have screensaver options here. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye!